The age of the modern data lake is upon us, and with that comes a host of opportunities. New ways for data engineers to operate data pipelines, new ways for data analysts to generate insights. The shift also calls into question the future of another technology, the data warehouse. As the sun rises on the modern data lake, it also sets on the traditional data warehouse. To understand this, it's time to dive deeper into the division between data warehouses and data lakes before showing how modern data lakes can replace the majority of data warehouse workloads at a fraction of the cost. How? Starburst Galaxy. Interested? Let's get going. First things first, what is a data lake? A data lake is a type of data storage system characterized by its large size, suitability for raw data, and comparatively low costs. Data lakes are designed to both store and analyze all types of data from multiple sources using machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms often. It is a versatile, adaptable technology that often leverages modern cloud object storage at a lower cost than traditional data warehouse storage. Examples of typical data lake technology include the cloud object services AWS S3, Azure Blob Storage, and GCP Google Cloud Storage. How does this compare to a data warehouse? Data lakes and data warehouses are both used for data analytics. However, data warehouses only store structured data. This structure is applied when the data enters the warehouse and is a prerequisite to its addition to the warehouse. Data engineers work hard to ensure that data entering the warehouse matches the schemas that the data architects have decided in advance. Once this data has been transformed to fit the schema using a data pipeline process, it is ready for analysis. Compared to data warehouses, data lakes are more versatile in the types of data that they can ingest and typically store the data on lower cost storage media. This makes data lakes less expensive to run compared to data warehouses. What are the disadvantages of a data warehouse? Data warehouses are both expensive and lack versatility compared to data lakes. They're only efficient for structured data in cases where the structure of that data does not change and is known well in advance. Using a data warehouse for unstructured data or data that changes often is highly inefficient and even in the most efficient usage, data warehouses are always, always expensive. How do data lakes store and access data differently? Data lakes do not require data to be structured before it enters the lake. This means that all kinds of data, structured, semi-structured, and unstructured can enter the lake easily, whereas transformation happens before data enters the data warehouse. In this sense, data lakes store data until it is needed, transforming it later using the schema on read process. What are modern data lakes? Modern data lakes, also called data lake houses, make use of modern table formats to deliver superior features not found on traditional data lakes. This includes table formats like Iceberg, Delta Lake, and Hootie, and allows for features like acid compliance, schema evolution, partition evolution, and time travel. Star Wars Galaxy makes connecting to modern data lakes and querying them easy, and this means that accessing all the advanced features is also easy. Connect easily, save immediately. Using Star Wars Galaxy, a data lake is not treated any differently from other data sources. This means that you can get all of the advantages of a data lake, including significant cost savings compared to data warehouses, just as easily as connecting to a new data warehouse. Federate and save. Data lakes are versatile and can handle many workloads, but data warehouses might still be the right choice for a certain subset of structured data. In these cases, Star Wars Galaxy's built-in federation capabilities let users house a small amount of data in a data warehouse and hold the rest of it in an inexpensive cloud object storage. Star Wars Galaxy's federation capabilities allow data from multiple data sources to be accessed from a single point, as if they were a single source. While users might start out thinking that a data warehouse is a significant requirement, many users find that this can be reduced over time while using a lake. We like to call this the lake plus one or in and around the lake strategy. All of this means that there's a new center of gravity in the data world, the modern data lake, powered by an open table format like Iceberg and access from a single point of access like Starburst Galaxy.